Hello friends and family, welcome back to Netcode Help Channel. This video or this lesson is going to be a short one. And in this video, we are going to talk about how to convert an image into base 64 string. Maybe I'm not sure this is the first time of um, hearing base 64 format. When you try to read from the internet, you know that is from this being AI is saying base 64 is a group of binary to test encoding schemes that present data in an ASCII string format. So by translating them into a ready 64 representation, you can read a lot about this, but it is a way of converting an object into a string. Let's say a test. So when creating your application, at times you will have to convert your image into a string whereby you can save it in your database through your API. So in this case, how can you do it? We are going to talk about it today. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to create a new project and this method here works on both the blazor server and also the blazor web assembly so i can click on any so i'm going to choose the blazor server then i'm going to click on next so let's say this is file upload so this is file upload into b64 okay so file upload to b64 this is the four string that is a project name too long. Okay, so file upload to base 64 string. Now I'm going to click on next. So I choose 7.0 as a framework. Then create. So I'm going to create that project. Now we are not going to do anything here. What I want to do here is to have our input element and also our method to handle the image upload. Very simple. So in here, let's go to our index page. So we have pages, now index page. So this is where you want to work. Now, first of all, let's inject our IGS uh, runtime. So inject IGS runtime and let's say JS. Because what the reason why we are injecting this is after converting the image into base before strength, in order for us to notice it, I would like to display it in an alert box. This is the four string of the image. So I've injected this. Now let's come here. And to get it on, you see you have to add the input element. And now in Blazor, I can have input file. So we have input file that is for blazer we can have html as input then the type here we can have it as file that's also um, this html but since we're using blazer i want us to use the blazer element so we have an input file and the next thing that we can do here is we can specify the class so with this input file the class of this is form control as you know because it is part is a class in bootstrap so form control and aside from having this we can get an event and now this event is going to be unchanged event so unchanged event so meaning if i choose any file within this input file element this event get fired okay so let's give it a name let's say on file change on file change now i'm going to close this that is only an input file that we need so let's let's cut this out now for now now let's save this let's find this and see the output of this input file element that we have included in this project 
Okay, so that is it. Now like we see we have choose file. So I can click on it, then I print. Now like we see I have the file selected over here. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? Or what do you want us to do? Or what I'm going to do next after you have this file selected? You want to get this unchanged event file as soon as you select a file here. So we go back to uh, project. Now in here, let's have our code. So let's paste the event over here and file change. So in here, we can have, we can decide to pass in start with private or you can start to clear this off because if you type it without the private, it means default it is not private. So you can say async task, then on file change. So let's grab this name. And now this file change here comes in with an input file change event argument at. So we can take it as E as an event. Now here we can decide to specify the specific or type of image that you want. Okay. We can decide to append or add all the types, the format that is the PNG, JPG, JPEG, and etc. But in this video, in this lesson, let's use PNG as a format. So I'm going to say format is equal to then I am doing that's an image slash PNG. So this is the format that I'm going to use. So I'm going to accept all images with the extension of PNG. So once I have this, I can have have to resize it. So resize image is equal to now I'm going to have an I wait. Then e dot file. So dot request image file async. Okay, then you're gonna pass in the format. So which format are we talking of? Now the format here, the size is 300 by 300. That is the format, the size that you want to specify. As you can see from this, it is the max weight and also the max height of the image that you want to um, convert. Okay, so now the next thing that we can do is we have to create a buffer. So we create buffer is equal to so new byte. Then we pass in the red size image that we have made. Okay. Then in this, we are specifying not the actual the red size, but the red size, we can get an attribute of size. So this is what we need. Okay. Now the next thing to do here is you have to open and restream. So how do you do it? You can have an I wait, then we're going to say resize image. So dot open read stream. Then after reading, we say dot read as async or read async. So we are reading it. Then with this read async, what are you reading? This buffer. For that, the current image buffer that we have now. So after writing this, we have to now do our conversion. Now our conversion here is to have um, var. Now let's say it is image data. So image data. Now let's convert it. So we first want to specify the data here. And now let's specify a format. You know this is a string interpolation. So we are calling the format from this, the format here is an image.png. That's the format that we are calling here because it's a variable and that's what we use to call. So we have our formats. Then we want to grab as a basis to four. Now with this basis to four, let's convert it. So how do you convert it? You can be going to use this just a convert. Convert then to basis to four. So you see, we have this default string, we have this default car array, okay? And you want to use the string because you want to convert the image into a long string. Then, which are you talking about? Now you have the buffer, buffer contain the image size. So we pass in the buffer. Very simple. So when done, let's put this up.
now in other fast display to get this let's use await js dot invoke async so let's pass in this alert so alert and now in here let's pass in this image data you want to display the data the image size here that is the basis default string okay so that is the simple thing that you have to do all and this is going to get us uh, the image into basis default okay now let's save this let's go to now let's select the image as well so i'm going to select a png image so i'm going to have let's say this item one now as soon as i'm done you can see we have the item one image and that's the png you can see the this default string has now been created so because we have the image is for png and we have the this is default the image type here is png and that is the string that i have now so if i want to save this image i, I have to grab this string and now pass it onto a model and to a database and i get that image saved so the whole image that you see that's what has been converted into this is default string now let's choose another one and see so let's choose different image so i'm going to pick um back here now this bag let's see what is the format it is jpg so let's choose this open and now you can see we are still having it but it is converting the type here to a png so maybe we can specify you can get the file type and specify if it is not png we can say something so how can we do it so let's see if we can have that done now we go to our source now here we are creating so this e here contains a file so we can say that we can use so if e here dot file now this file we can have what file name so this we have file name over here we have size we have our request image file async so let's grab the name so file name dot now we can go for contain okay so contains dot png then you want to perform this so if the file contains png that's the extension then you want to um perform this else what do you want to do so let's say else then we can instead of um showing an alert of the data here we can say alert and uh, we can pass in as wrong format selected now let's try this and see if this will work for us so the magic of uh, hot reload it is done now let's choose the another one here so because we have wrong format selected now let's choose so you see as soon as we selected that it couldn't um, convert the image into the history for string let's choose another one so images now let's choose one here so i'm going to choose this it's a png file so open and let's see the outcome so do we have let's try this once more and see okay so it means we have to figure this out now we check if the file contains this dot png okay but if you check the the image here it is in upper capital letters so what you have to do we can convert this to let's say to lower so to lower case then dot contain png okay so let's try that and see so now let's refresh it now we have done this let's refresh our page and see so now it is an let's select an image here so go for the same back and now we have wrong format selected and let's choose another format so i have one format right here the same one and i can see we have the image as a png file yeah so that is it now if you want me to get database get api ready and also get this data being saved in the database and retrieve the data from the database and pass it on as a source to an image uh, element if you want us to do that too you can let us or you can let me know under the description over there or the, the comment section 
so you can just type in the one there for us to see but i believe with this once you have this image converted into this default string you're good to go and you can now do whatever thing that you want to do with it but if you want us to continue on it as well then you can also put it there as well all right so that's going to be this video length yeah very simple one short as well so you make sure you subscribe to the channel give me a thumbs up take care of yourself and i'm going to catch you up in the next video